How does software in the loop improve your digital twin across the product lifecycle? Solus by ASI extends the SDK environment by including their actual flight software, Odyssey, running onboard simulated satellites. Within that flight software, all the important components are being modeled. For example, the attitude thrusters, the reaction wheels, and the magnetic torquers, to the payload data recorders, and the power systems, and more. In the early stages of engineering, using these component models in conjunction with the control logic that drives them helps shape hardware design. As we start to flesh out the design of these hardware components, having the, the software integrated into the mission models uh, provides insight into the actual vehicle capabilities and the ability of our system to meet the overall requirements. With deployed systems, combining onboard software with the detailed component models makes a true digital twin. That way you can enable advanced uh, training exercises as well as day-to-day -day operational mission planning. And sometimes you can also include simulated anomalies as part of the process. So integrating the actual flight software into mission level simulations gives users the ability to understand the impact of every action, whether it's at the, the concept development stage or design and all the way through training and operations. So if any of this resonates with you, I'd suggest that you click on the link below and sign up for AGI's Digital Mission Engineering Forum, and I hope to see you there.